Welcome to the screencast video for the online ASR application. The first thing is to enter the UAT URL for the purpose of the pilot testing. So you may enter popdata-uat.unhr.org on your browser and you will access to this landing page. Next thing is to log in. Only logged in users can access the application. So you may click on the login button and enter your UNHCR credentials as username and password. In case you, your username doesn't work, you may have to go to the UNHCR sign-up page, which you, which you can find at signup.unhcr.org, in order to reset your account in order to, to access the application. Once this is done, enter your credentials and sign in to the application. This is the landing page for the PSR applications. You can see from this section which roles are assigned to your personal accounts. In this example, I'm having administrator role as well as ASR data entry for Afghanistan. If these don't match your expectations, just let us know so that we make sure that the correct roles are assigned to your account. Next thing is to select a country to enter the ASR data for. So in this example, I'm selecting Afghanistan from the drop-down list and going to the Afghanistan page. Now you have the choice between the different reports that you can fill in online. So the, we are currently interested in the annual statistical report for Afghanistan. So you can click on the link and then you access the actual landing page for the ASR application. This, is, this landing page is kind of summarizing the status of the, the report. You can see that there is information pertaining to the country, as well as a summary table at the bottom, which is summarizing information that was entered for the given country. Some of the data was pre-populated from last year's ASR report, the rest of the data comes from information that you enter online. One thing you will be requested to do is to enter the name of the focal point. So it's actually name and email address. Please note that only a UNHCR email address will be taken into account as part of the focal point details. Once this is done, save your details uh, so that the reviewers can contact you afterwards. The ASR online, online application uh, contains different tabs that you can see here. So the default tab is the summary page that we just looked at. And you can find tabs which are equivalent to the actual spreadsheets that you, you're used to filling in as part of the ASR Excel template. There's one additional tab in the end, which is the Comments tab, which will allow you to enter complementary information with regards to the, the report. Click on the Refugees tab to access the former Table 2 from the ASR report. You can see from this screen that some of the rows are grayed out. Those rows are coming from last year's ASR report and were pre-populated uh, into this report. Those rows you can edit except for the population start year figures. You can see that whenever you enter data in some of those cells, totals are calculated automatically. There is some restriction in order, in order to make sure that only figures are entered and not letters. You may try to enter letters in, these, in those cells and you will see that those will not be taken into account and only actual figures are recorded. Pre-populated information cannot be deleted from the report. You can see that the the icons on the right are grayed out, which means that we can't delete those rows. Above rows were entered manually. You can see that they are not grayed out, and those rows can be independently deleted like this. In case you need to add any 
additional row to the to the table click on the add a row button this automatically adds a row at the bottom of the, the page and you may now select information pertaining to the row once you're done you can click on the save button in order to save the, the table. Please note that any of those tabs save independently, which means that you will need to save the refugees table before you go to demographics or any other tab, otherwise the data would be lost. A message pops up if you enter data and try to go to a different screen without saving the, the actual data. In this case, you can decide to save or disregard the modifications. Each of those tables can be saved independently and uh, data can be exported independently as well. In the future, there will be another button on the summary page in order to export the whole country report. RSD tables um, the number of RSD tables depends on your specific country, so you may have a different number of RSD tables. Please note that only administrators can add or remove RSD tables from this tab. You will also note that the UAC and information comes in a separate window that you can access by clicking on the UASC tab. You may enter comments for any of the different tables and save comments by clicking on this button at the bottom of the page. Once everything is in order, you may want and try to validate the actual ASR data which was entered into the, all those different tabs. To do that, click on the validate ASR data which will take you to a different screen where critical messages and warning messages will be displayed depending on any inconsistency of the data which was entered as part of the different screens. This may help you ensuring that information you enter is consistent. Once everything is in order, you may click on the submit button which doesn't appear here, so that the report goes into the review phase. You may log out from the application once you're done.